And once again, we welcome you back to this edition of 5 Talk Street. I'm Scott Murray. Heart disease. I know you've heard about it before. The leading cause of death for both men and women here in the United States. Dr. John Moon of Village Health Partners and Shannon McAnally. She's the marketing director for Frontera. They're here to share some information that uh, maybe could save your life. Tell us all about the mobile diagnostic testing program and product being used at the family practice over there. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. Welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you for, for being us. here. Thank Shannon, you. welcome to you, too. Well, heart disease. Is there a day that goes by that on either on television or in a magazine or on the radio or someplace in our life we don't hear about heart disease? And, hey, folks, get with the program. Get it. Take care of yourself or you could be in trouble. Right, and that's, that's one of the, our main focuses at uh, Village Health Partners when we came together was prevention and early detection of disease. Because if you can catch something early, you can prevent it from being a problem and having a heart attack or a stroke, um, something of that sort. Um, so we're, you know, part of our practice is, our idea in practice is to use the latest uh, innovations to try and aid in early detection so that we can prevent these things. When you talk about early detection, you talk about uh, prevention. Obesity is probably one of the biggest problems that we have, I would think, yes. that relates to heart disease. And yet we see literally millions and millions of people each year added to that list that find themselves simply eating too much. And then at the same time, I wonder about those that don't eat all that much or that are not obese that have taken care of themselves. And yet I just wondered what they might do to make sure that they're being preventative mm -hmm. and they're doing the things they should do. Is it something they should get the stress test? Do they go get a, you know, uh, electrocardiogram, EKG, wh where, do you, where do you decide at what age and when you do all these things? Well, part of it is just the whole preventative part. Uh, you know, somebody that's 30, unless they have risk factors, doesn't need a stress test. And that's where the prevention comes in, because we know that high cholesterol, smoking, being overweight uh, are all risk factors. Diabetes are all risk factors for heart disease. So if you can control those early, you can prevent somebody from having uh, considerable plaque there by the time they're 40, 45. If somebody's in their 40s, 50s, and they have these risk factors, they may have some blockage already in the arteries that they're not to a point that they even know it's there because it's not significant enough that they're having any symptoms. And that's where the early detection, we can be more aggressive about addressing those risk factors and reducing their, their risk at that point. So, so talk about that detection and, and what... Sometimes an EKG might not show it. Uh, right. Is it electrocardiogram and other? I guess that would be for that's for your. Well, the, no, the electrocardiogram is for, for the heart. Yeah, but then the, the reason that there's there's a difference in the two is when when your heart's when your heart beats, you need oxygen to feed the heart. Okay. Right. Well, if you have some blockage there, if you're sitting still and your heart's beating at a certain rate, you're getting plenty of oxygen to the heart. Right. Well, when you start exercising and the heart beats faster, when you're stressing the heart, it's beating faster. Now you may not get enough oxygen to that part of the heart. Mm -hmm. And the first thing you'll see is it'll throw the EKG off I and see. you'll see changes with exercise. Now, when somebody stops exercising after that, then the heart slows down, they get enough oxygen and it'll shift back again. So when somebody does just an EKG, it, they can have some blockage there, but they're sitting still. So it may not show I see. up. I see. Okay. And Very that's good. where the stress test, you may find something that's early that otherwise wouldn't show up on the, the EKG. If something shows up on the EKG, it's probably a, a pretty significant blockage. Okay. okay. Now, your relationship with Frontera and, and with Shannon and what they have brought to the table, can you tell us a little something about that? Or do you want to talk how you approach Dr. Moon? Sure, sure. We do mobile diagnostic testing. We have gone into Village Health Partners and we perform a test called a CMED. It's a cardiopulmonary stress test. Um, it's a little bit more in-depth than a typical stress test because it takes the patient's overall lung function and heart function in conjunction with physical exercise that's done on a bike in the convenience of Dr. Moon's office at Village Health Partners and it gives... So you don't have to go to a hospital or anything correct. is what you're saying. It's very, very convenient for okay. the patient because especially for older patients who you know don't want to travel that far, they can go to their local doctor's office and have this test performed and it's much more detailed than a standard stress test. How good are these at predicting whether you do have plaque or you do have issues with, with, with heart disease and either one of you feel free well, they're, to... They're, they're the gold standard screening test for significant plaque. If, if everybody over 40 is gonna have some plaque, mm -hmm. but we're looking for the ones that are significant enough that they need some medical management, you know, whether a stent or, well, you know, something I, I that had sort. a friend a couple of weeks ago, working at his desk, heart attack, 50, right. 52 years old. Now, 
don't know what history, he's a little overweight, but mm -hmm. don't know what history he might have had. And I just wondered, is that something that can be prevented? Yes. And that's what there, there's there two issues there. One is there a significant plaque that we need to do something with, that put a stent in, something of that sort. If it's uh, not significant, but there's some early blockage there, then that's where you want your cholesterol as low as possible. You want to lose weight. If you smoke, you want to quit smoking. Uh, any of the risk factors for arterial inflammation. Um, but even somebody that has a normal stress test, if they have the risk factors for inflammation in the arteries, which is smoking, being overweight, poor diet, things like that, if they have a little bit of plaque there, those plaques can rupture and cause a sudden heart attack still. Mm -hmm. So that's why the, the two issues are, is there significant plaque that we need to do something about at an early point? And if the arteries aren't blocked, addressing those you know, other risk factors such as the cholesterol, um, weight, and those things. You talk about Frontera and the cutting edge procedures and what have you. Is this something that's, you're at Dr. Moon's facility, but is this used around the country? Do you find it in hospitals? Is it not in hospitals at all and just in private practices? Where, where would we find your... We have a lot of offices that we work with in the, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, but right now we're all over Texas and Oklahoma. So basically we work with about 1,200 physicians across Texas and Oklahoma. And what has been the response from, from physicians like Dr. Moon? I just wondered what they've said to you that had it not been for you, this wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't Absolutely. have been able to do this. It's not invasive. It's this. It's that. And we get stories all the time from patients who had no idea that they were at risk, and we went in and performed this test, and, and you know now they know, and they've yeah. gone get the extra measure. Yeah. Well, I, I I wish we had more time. We were a little short on time, but I can't thank you enough, Shannon. Thank you so great much. stuff. Website quickly. Teamfrontera.com. That's and simple. Ours is uh, www.villagehealthpartners.com. Thank you both. Shannon, Dr. Moon, thank you much. Thank That's you. it for this edition of Five Talk Street. I'm Scott Murray. Have a great day, everybody.